The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So number eight is testing some concepts about lines. And we want to find the value of k such that the line passing through those two points is perpendicular to another line. So remember that two lines being perpendicular mean that their slopes have to be the negative reciprocals of each other. So we have two lines. We have one that passes through the points 4, 2k plus 9, and the point k, 2. So one line passes through those two. The other line is the equation x plus 3y minus 6 equals 0. And we want these two lines to be perpendicular. So we know that their slopes have to be negative reciprocals of each other. So let's figure out what their slopes are. Well, the slope of this one is going to be y, delta y over delta x. So if we do that here, um, we're going to get 2 minus 2k plus 9 over k minus 4. So whatever that happens to be, that is the slope of that first set. We took second y minus first y, second x minus the first x, delta y over delta x. So let's figure out what the slope of, so let's call this m1. m2, we can figure out this by just putting this into y equals mx plus b form. So in, in rearranging this, we'll get 3y equals negative x plus 6. And if you divide there, you get that y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. Now our, uh, our line is in y equals mx plus b form. You can easily see then that the m2 is negative 1 third. That's the slope of our line here. So now we need to figure out what m1 is. Well, we know they're perpendicular, and that means that these slopes have to have opposite reciprocal values. So if m2 is negative 1 third, m1 needs to be the negative and the reciprocal of that. Negative reciprocal of negative 1 third would be positive 3. So we know that this has to equal 3. So now we can just solve for k algebraically. So let's distribute that negative up there. So we get 2 minus 2k minus 9 over k minus 4. We know this has to equal 3. Best way to solve that then is just multiply the k minus 4 over and distribute and all of that stuff. So here we get negative 2k, 2 minus 9 would give you minus 7. Over here we get 3k minus 12 if we multiply k minus 4 times 3. So now we just need to solve for k. If we add 2k and add 12 over, so 3k plus 2k is going to be 5k. Negative 7 plus 12 is going to be 5. We get that k must be 1 uh, for this to be for these two lines to be perpendicular, which is answer choice B. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.